Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's Ash Wednesday. Today is the beginning of Lent, Ash Wednesday. Uh, and it's time for our daily devotion. Today our text brings us to Romans chapter 5, verses 12 through 21. This is, uh, Romans is, a, is like a big thesis of Paul after being stricken down on the road to Damascus, uh, after being given a new revelation of who God is and that Jesus really is Messiah, uh, it, it seems to me at least that Romans is Paul going back and pouring through scriptures and re-understanding everything in light of the Messiah uh, that he has now met on the road. Uh, and, uh, and Romans is sort of his term paper at the end of it. Uh, and, and this actually, this passage is part of the uh, I don't know, maybe thesis, but the kind of the center core. What, how do Adam and Moses and Jesus kind of work together? Where, how do they fit? Uh, it gives a little bit of that in here. And uh, then we have the song, What Wondrous Love Is This? Because this text is pretty dense and we can maybe not scratch our heads too much, but there's a lot there uh, to ponder. And one of the ways we respond is, oh my. What, what has God done for us? What wondrous love is this? So that's what we have for today, Ash Wednesday. Just as Paul is sort of partway through a discussion, just as through one human being sin came into the world and death then came through sin, so death has come to everyone since everyone has sinned. Although sin was in the world, since there was no law, it wasn't taken into account until the law came. But death ruled from Adam until Moses, even over those who didn't sin in the same way Adam did. Adam was a type of the one who was coming. Uh, but the free gift of Christ isn't like Adam's failure. If many people died through what one person did wrong, God's grace is multiplied even more for many people with the gift of the one person, Jesus Christ. That comes through grace. The gift isn't like the consequences of one person's sins. The judgment that came from one person's sin led to punishment, but the free gift that came out of many failures led to the verdict of acquittal. If death ruled because of one person's failure, those who received the multiplied grace and the gift of righteousness will even more certainly rule in life through the one person, Jesus Christ. So now, the righteous requirements necessary for life are met for everyone through the righteous act of one person. Just as judgment fell on everyone through the failure of one person, just as many people were made sinners through the disobedience of one person, the law stepped in to amplify the failure, but where sin increased, grace multiplied even more. The result is that grace will rule through God's righteousness leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, just as sin ruled in death. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul. To bear the dreadful curse for my soul. When I was sinking down, sinking down, sinking down. When I was sinking down, sinking down. When I was sinking down beneath God's righteous frown, Christ laid aside his crown for my soul, for my soul. Christ laid aside his crown for my soul. To God and to the Lamb I will sing, I will sing. To God and to the Lamb I will sing. To God and to the Lamb who is the great I am. 
While millions join the theme, I will sing, I will sing. While millions join the theme, I will sing. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing on. And when from death I'm free, I'll sing and joyful be. And through eternity, I'll sing on, I'll sing on. And through eternity, I'll sing on.